Hey, I hope you're having an awesome day today, guys. Um, yeah, we had a bullish day yesterday, and today has been a pretty bearish one. So um, basically, I'm just going to show you what I see in my charts really quick, and so you can guys to react to what's about to happen. Uh, basically, I just want to quickly show you guys the profits from the community really quick. Uh, let's scroll up here for today. Today, today, today. There is yesterday. All right, cool. So today, uh, Fixer, 6%, 6.6% gain. Uh, Bun made 113% gain, but using 100x leverage, so be careful, man. Uh, Fixer, 7.6% gain, using 6.5x leverage. And Chris, LC, using back to 1x leverage again, right on, man. 1.5% uh, gain and 1.6% gain. Good job. Um, Frost Meme, 45% gain, using 75x leverage. And Stephanos, 164% gain using 100x leverage. Awesome job, guys. Um, you guys are doing a great job, honestly. I do want to show you something that the community, one of the community members have made. Uh, it's pretty cool. So basically, he compiled all the profits that people have made, all the screenshots, and made a, like a single image out of it. Now I kind of want to um, take all these like little white images and make the Investor Share logo out of it and put it up as a poster on my wall. It's pretty sweet. Um, I even noticed like some of my older like terminant take profits were in here when I made like 0 0.3 Bitcoin off of like the little terminant that we did. Um, it's really cool. Um, anyways, that's everything I got to show you for the take profits here. And we'll dive into the charts so you can prepare for what's about to occur because it's looking pretty bearish for Bitcoin. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the inside. All right, so uh, first thing we want to look at, especially if you guys are new to trading, the first thing you want to look at is the DXY. So the DXY looks like um, we can see that we have the double bottom right here, um, little continuation formation. We got the confirmation bounce off of this uh, level of resistance that flipped and turned to a support. The technical target, which is the measurable target from the neckline to the bottom of the formation here, will bring it up to about... Uh, 110.68 and if you zoom out it will come in confluence with this level of resistance right here so um, just prepare for that hopefully we actually get a rejection here because um, the DXY is looking a little too strong um, and we could create a double top but the, the downside is uh, tomorrow they're increasing the rates again most likely, like I can't say that they are, but they they're they're gonna, <laughs> right? Uh, they're basically based off the CPI data. It was showing that we still have a lot of inflationary damage coming in every single month, so they're trying to bring that down. And then the only way to do that, they think, is by increasing the rates. Um, so just prepare for a potential high volatile day tomorrow. I wouldn't recommend trading tomorrow at all. Um, I don't trade during FOMC meetings, so I might not do a video tomorrow. Uh, but if I do vi do a video tomorrow, just uh, comment down below if you want me to do one anyways and just let you know my opinion of uh, what's happened and how it was priced in. But it looks like it's already being priced in right now because it's a bullish event for the US dollar, but it's a bearish event for cryptocurrency. Um, and that's going to happen around 2 o'clock tomorrow. So just um, prepare for that, and I recommend trying not to trade um, until if you do decide to trade, I recommend not doing it until a few hours after the fact, right? Um, anyways, that's what we got to prepare for. And if you are, like, say, for example, if you're going to be doing a short position for Bitcoin, then um, if you entered off a short off this confirmation bounce, then expect resistance around here. So if we end up seeing resistance on the DXY, you'll start seeing support. On Bitcoin so you might start seeing reversal um, so prepare to get out of your short positions for Bitcoin if we end up getting closer to this target um, anyways um, let's see going over to Bitcoin on the daily uh, if I got it, pull up the daily chart really quick now we can see that yesterday we tried to pump like crazy so we can get back above 19,400 and we succeeded uh, with this giant wick which kind of created a lot of exhaustion so now all the um, the buy orders have been bought up basically and now there's not as much support down below because there's not as much um, there's a lot of buyer exhaustion right 
So hopefully we create a higher high and we start building a reversal formation on the lower time frame so we can get back above these levels again. Um, so we have a chance of breaking this downtrend level of resistance because we do break this downtrend level of resistance, guys. It's going to be very bullish um, because we got this devil bottom right here. If we break this, find support, come up, give us enough momentum, and then we have this neckline right here. And this neckline acts as support. Oh, we can see Bitcoin going back up to around 26,000, I believe. Let's take a look. Right, uh, so yeah, around 26,500 if this event were to occur. Um, but things are looking bearish short term, especially with the uh, rate hikes coming up. It hits all stocks and all crypto pretty hard. Um, but doesn't mean we can't make money, right? So if we actually were to, you know, look at Bitcoin in the lower time frames, if we can see, like today, we made some money off of uh, inverse head and shoulders. I'm gonna bring it down even lower time frames so you can see what I was talking about. Actually, I'm gonna just gonna look at uh, my primary chart just so it's easier for you guys to see. So today, yeah, I did a little signal saying we were in inverse head and shoulders, and we end up hitting this level of resistance right here. And we didn't hit the technical target, um, but we were preparing for resistance around fifty dollars above this. So um, I took my profits early, and then we saw. Um, we have this most transparent head and shoulders formation right here. Like this is probably the easiest trade I've ever done in my trading career. If if you guys know what a head and shoulders looks like, this is like a textbook drawing of one right here. And we came down, and then this is the confirmation rejection, proving you know this flipping this support into resistance. And then we have the technical target, which we have not met yet um, at 18,784. But not all technical targets are hit. Um, if we look over here, we have this local price action right here that we're starting to build support off of. So we might start seeing a reversal. And this head and shoulders that we're seeing here could act as a neckline for a short-term reversal. Um, and could bring the price action back up a little bit. Because we're looking at the five-minute chart. So the candles look big, but honestly... The moves aren't that big. Um, we could come back up to around 19,700 with a technical target, but we have all this resistance right here that could keep us from getting up to that technical target. So pay close attention to this if you're trying to enact off of this um, reversal. Um, all right, if the reversal even occurs. So you just want to wait sure you start getting those confirmation balances first, and then you can try to act off if you'd like. Um, not financial advice, of course. But if you zoom out, this is one thing you got to pay attention to because there's going to be two different scenarios that could play out here. We could have this reversal, and we have this neckline, um, and you can. So I'd recommend waiting to see this neckline act as support before entering along if you want to be super safe, because if you zoom out on the hourly, um, it's kind of ugly on the hourly. Let me just break it down in 30 minute. You can see we could potentially have a larger head and shoulders formation being created right now. Uh, with this being the shoulder, this being the head, and then this being the shoulder right here. So if we see on the like the 30 minute time frame, if you want to dissect it on the 30 minute time frame, you can. Uh, but this would be the support level right here that we got to watch, which we have broken. So if price action doesn't come back up and close above this with a wick on the 30 minute chart, then we could start seeing our price action come down Maybe have a support bounce here, come up, get a rejection here, and then go in much lower levels. The technical target, if you were to draw it from the support line to the top of the formation here, is down here at this area of interest at 18,300 roughly. Um, so, yeah, pay attention to that. If we end up seeing you know this act as resistance, we'll most likely see uh, us going further down. Um, and this local level of uh, consolidation here could act as support. So it could be a good location for you to undercut the target. And we do have this area of interest right here. Um, so a good place where I would probably take profits would be around like 18,472 and undercut the technical target here. Um, and of course, you can look at the order books and see what one else is doing with their limit orders and see if they're going to be preparing to buy at these levels. And if they are, then you can undercut them to make sure that you're out before they are. Um, and it looks like that 30-minute candle just closed at 2 o'clock today. So um, this candle could be the deciding factor to find out if this access resistance or not.
So it's gonna look bullish short term for the next 30 minutes, come up, retest, and see if it acts as resistance. And if it does, we will probably come down to 18,300. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I got for you guys for Bitcoin. We talked about the DXY. Um, we talked about that awesome picture the community member made. Uh, let's see, let's just zoom out a little bit. If you look at Ethereum, yeah, we had that inverse head and shoulders. We didn't hit the technical target. Um, and it looks like we're starting to build a channel right here. Nothing really to report on. Yeah, there's nothing really to report on just yet. But it's, it has a lot of Bitcoin liquidity. So whatever happens to Bitcoin happens pretty strongly on Ethereum. Um, so make sure you watch Bitcoin's charts because it will influence your trades with Ethereum. And however, um, Ethereum has been having its own relative strength lately ever since the merge. Not in a good way, unfortunately, but uh, that's probably just because a lot of people had their funds unlocked recently from staking. Um, like five of the biggest, world's biggest wallets with Ethereum just had their funds unlocked. So they're probably wanting to take some profit since it's been locked for so long, right? Um, but yeah, guys, that's everything I got for you. Um, just make sure you be very careful if you decide to trade tomorrow because, like, I'm not trading tomorrow. I'm just going to watch and see what happens. And, uh, yeah, just let the um, rates be increased, and then we can react after everything cools down. If you have any questions about this, guys, you can reach out to me in the Discord. I um, hope you have yourself an amazing day. Um, before I go really quick, though, I do want to announce the winner of... Um, so, yeah, Federico Testa. So you have the opportunity to choose between uh, either a free strategy course or you can uh, reach out to me in the Discord. There's a, com there's a, a link down below. It's uh, investorsharecommunity.com. It'll bring you right to the Discord. There's a free version of our Discord that you can have access to. And you can message me and you can either have access to the um, free strategy course or you can um, ask to be able to join our next Monday um, trading elite call so every Monday around 9 30 a.m. Eastern we basically just yeah we just trade for an hour and just make some profits together as a group um, so if you're interested in that you can reach out to me in the discord um, and have yourself an amazing day guys thanks a lot